Hello friends, today I'll be playing as the Gungans, been a little while since I've played as them, and we'll be doing a 1v1v1v1, uh, in other words a 4-way deathmatch on Alaris Prime. It's a new map as part of the Expanding Fronts expansion, has a decent amount of water which should uh, bode well for us being the Gungans, and should be a lot of fun, so let's get started. Alright, so first things first. Let's make some workers and put you guys on food. Um, it is a bit of a journey to the fruit bushes. So let's go ahead and do... Okay, I want to do two things. Well, hmm, all right. Let's do f first things first. Um, building up prefab shelters so we can keep making more workers. And then once that's done, I think I want to build a nursery so we can start getting some continuous food from the herdables, as they call them. And we have four right here. Now the question is going to be, are there any others on this map besides the ones that my allies clearly have? Or my enemies, rather. I see a few there. Oh, they have six, and they've already gotten their six which means uh, let's put you on food I'll put you on carbon so a little more carbon I can make a food processing center which would be nice to have okay you guys go in here you guys go over here and I really don't like the fact that they have more nurse than I do that's going to be a long-term detriment if I can't find some more nurse aha here we go there are my nerfs. Not too far away, actually. So it looks like, yeah, we should get six. Uh, let's put you over here. Have you build a food processing center. Um, I'll put it here. I probably shouldn't have built that prefab there, but I kind of panicked because I totally forgot to build one. Um, and the reason for that is that eventually I want to build some farms around this thing. So it kind of takes up the space I'd be using for the farms, but that's okay. Um, all right, so there's an island here with lots of Nova. That could be good to get to. In fact, you know what I want to do, I think? Besides making more workers. There we go. Okay, let's get you guys indoors. Over here. There's also a decent amount of Phalumps. Maybe I should have made my, um, my Mujo Fruit Bush over there. But what I'd really love to do is build a shipyard, because then I could start doing some fishing, which would really get me in front of the path. There's actually a lot of hunt going on here. So uh, let's make one more of you, and then I might switch to carbon. Hmm, let's, I don't want to go too far away from the food either, though. Yeah, I know. We're stuck here. All right. Um, again, that's a mistake, because we could be making more workers right now, so there's a reason we're falling behind in the point count. But... It is early in the game, so still plenty of time to catch back up. All right. Um, so I'm debating, do I want to make more workers? Okay, I think at this point I can pull some of you guys off here and put you on carbon. And I do want to build a shipyard, maybe like over here where it's a little more hidden. Who's idle? Don't be idle. No idle workers. I'm gonna put you guys on food. So I might spend a little bit longer tech level one, but if I can get um, a shipyard and some trawlers going, that could be really beneficial. Also, we're fairly remote. The green guy's pretty close across this. Oh, well, actually, he has access to this island. Oh, that's a different island. Okay. Trying to get a lay of the land. So there's two islands that are actually islands. And then one that's connected by, um, or one that's not connected. No, I had it right the first time. One that's connected by these shallows. There's also shallows here, and there's shallows here, and here it looks like. So, all right, interesting map. Let me go ahead and save it, um, just in case we crash or something. And we'll do Gungans 1, and I need to build more prefab shelters. So let's have you guys use... I'm just going to have you start over here, and I don't want to have the same issue crop up again in a second. 
um, which it's going to because I keep forgetting to build more prefab shelters. But the good news is we uh, can start building a shipyard pretty soon. Uh, there's not really a reason to have, you know, I could probably just delete this scout for population room, but I don't think I need to right now. All right. I wonder if I should build a carbon production center. That's probably a good bet. But I really want to build a shipyard. All right, I want you guys on carbon. And I want you all to become hunters. Which will be a nice continuous supply of food. And I'm going to take one of you guys and... Where do I want my shipyard? Maybe over here is actually a good place. It's kind of a nice bay area. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Because then I can also get some stuff in range of a power core, potentially. And, okay, that's good. So we almost have enough for a power core. And I also want to build... Um, a carbon production center in the near future. All right. And I was not making more workers, which again is a mistake. Got to keep a better eye on that. There's another do back coming in. That's nice. All right. You guys can now build me a power core. Um, let's put it sort of here. Then I can get a new production center as well. All right, those guys are coming back with their food, which is awesome. That's what we could really use right about now. Um, and that should give us close to tech level two. So we need 500 food to get tech level two. Um, I also should build a troop center. All right, let's put some of you guys on carbon. So many things I want to do and so few resources. The good news is we're getting lots of workers. Um, Okay, let's put you guys on, again, carbon. And uh, let's put the carbon production center back here. I'm a little worried about um, getting attacked. So I'd really like to get a turret or two up by getting to tech level two. But to do that, I need more food. Um, all right, you guys, my hunting friends, let's have you hunt this stew back. And once I can start making some utility trawlers. Ah. Did it again. I guess if there's, if there's a bit of good news to this um, problem. It's that um, by doing this, I can save up a little bit of food to get to level two. All right, I think we're going to be pretty good on carbon. Well, I say that. But by using this carbon, I can make fisher people. It just occurred to me I could have been fishing the whole time, too, from the shallow, from the shore. Totally forgot that was a thing until just now. Um, all right, I think we got to get some food here. So let's have you guys go for this. There's 200 food there. And we're going to have plenty of carbon. So um, let's put some of you guys on hunting as well. And I mean, the right thing to do is to keep making more workers. Um, and then we'll start doing some attacking there too. In fact, once you guys get enough food to come back once. Yeah, so I'm really taking a big risk here. Because if I get attacked by like those mounted troopers there, I could be in a lot of trouble. Um, but if this pays off, I could have a really nice early advantage because of uh, these utility trawlers and all this carbon I'm getting. Uh, okay, we're going to learn my lesson this time. And we have plenty of carbon. Let's go ahead and build four more prefab shelters over here. And I can almost get to level two right now. But let's not do it yet. I totally forgot what I was going to do over here. And... Let's have you guys put your food away. 
All right, I'm still playing very risky here. Oh, that's just somebody attacking that guy. All right, I want you guys to be farmers, and honestly, we now have so much food from this, from these guys. We can get to level two right away. And I'm gonna actually save the OPs for now. And I'm gonna build a Nova Production Center right here. And start working on Nova for the next tech level. Now these guys seem to be potentially attacking us, yes. Let's get you guys in here as well. All right, so yellow's gonna be attacking us. That's kind of annoying. I was really hoping yellow and red would go after each other and then maybe green would be after me, but oh, didn't want that. All right, back to what you're doing. Um, I'm gonna put you guys on Nova and all right, so this is actually good now because what we can do is, are they all attacking us? All right, they're all the enemy, but I assume they're also each other's enemy, right? Because they also, yeah. It, it worked. All right, so what I want to do is, that's a shipyard. I want a troop center. And somehow I used up one ore, which is really annoying. All right, tech level two. Um, so let's upgrade that. I want like one of you guys to go get Here, I want you to go over here. And you guys are gonna be on Nova as well. All right. So by having all these resources, that's gonna put us into a pretty good position, I think. Um, it's because to get to the next tech level, I'm gonna need food, Nova, and two tech level two buildings. So let's start working on those buildings now. Um, as always, I like building a Jedi Temple. Um, I'm gonna put it here just for safekeeping. And we can make a lot more workers as well, which is really nice. Um, okay, work on that for now, and then we'll do a war center because war centers are also good to have. And okay, I'm starting to get a little low on carbon here, so I probably should put you on carbon. Oh, I need to build a turret. Let's build a turret here to defend my stuff. Um, and then put you guys on more carbon. And no more fish, but that's okay, because you guys can become hunters then. And I would like you to please join him in the great hunt. All right. Um, do I need more food or carbon? Probably food. Let's have you guys hunt up here. All right, so now my goal is to get holocrons. Um, I'm gonna be very risky here. I see one over there, there's gotta be more though. Is that two over here or just one? I think just one. So where are the other holocrons? That's an enemy utility trawler. Um, what I can do yeah, let's keep building some more prefabs. We can also build underwater prefabs, which are really cool because they're almost, well, not impossible to destroy, but they're definitely hard to destroy. Oh, I think I made a life free of accident, okay. All right, and then I'll probably also want a second turret. Oh, I took the guy off the turret. That was a mistake. Um. So really we just need more food. And yeah, once these guys come back, we'll have enough for tech level three, which is great. So this guy's actually making good progress. Um, I see another holocron over here, but that one's gonna be, oh, there's a couple over here, interesting. This is definitely the safer holocron. Um, so there's two Fords here. All right, we are quickly depleting our fish. Let's have these guys go guard this fort as well. 
All right, and Jack Padawan was created. Um, I'm ready, master. We'll make you control three. And I'm gonna have you grab this one, just start getting us some Nova. And how are we doing here? I think it's 800 food, so let's uncue this guy, because I think that we can get some more food pretty quickly. I mean, I actually need those troopers, but good to have them just in case. And I'm gonna have you build a turret. Um, should I build all the way down there? Let's build it here, kind of as a, a little outpost. Um, you can be a hunter as well. Tech level three. All right. Uh, this guy is not going a smart route. On my way, master. I'm ready, master. Okay, but at least we have this one. You know what I can actually do? Tech level three, so we're still a little behind, but um, I am feeling a little better than I was. There's a holocron here too. All right, so what I want to do, yes, master. you, I want to come up here. Not, I'm oh crap, not you. I hit the wrong button. Yes, you, I need to put the holocron in here. And then what I want to do is, um, have this transport pick him up and kind of drop him off to get the other holocron here and um, bring the other guy back. So you get in here as fast as you can. And if we can do this right, we can get three holocrons, which is really nice. All right, let's build a one of these. And we're not level three yet, but once we are, we can really get some stuff going. Uh, it might be a good idea too to attack some people soon, just to kind of slow down their economy. Oh, undid my own plan there. All right, now can I walk across the forward? I don't see why not. Well, actually, I don't need to because I'll be right there. All right, so let's group up. Um, I'd like a second troop center, actually. Actually, you know what? I don't. I want a mech factory. Not enough ore. Okay. Everyone here, forget what you're doing. Go get me some more. And there's a trooper here. Thank you, Gundark, but now he's attacking us. Okay. Now it's time for my plan, right? No, not yet. Where's my transport? There it is. Oops, we are in trouble here, it looks like. Um, let's make some more troopers. And I would like you to build me that mech factory that I probably should build a while ago. I can build a fortress now, but I don't have enough stuff for it. Are they just marching through? Maybe they're marching through to attack this guy. Oh, uh, they're both attacking me. That's not good. If they attack this building, that could be really bad. Yeah, why are they all attacking me? Uh, I didn't get the mech factory up in time. Okay, where are my seafaring guys? There they are. For some reason, they weren't attacking anyone. And now they're through. Um, well, this is really bad. All right, let's do a save and see if I can get myself out of this. So, hmm. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting them to both attack me from both sides. That one guy is so far away. All right, so I need to build another troop center. I think what I need. one guy in there or a mech factory but okay I do have enough stuff now to build a mech factory that's good so if you guys can build this fast I can start getting some mechs which is what I really need here um, or at least they're in range of that let's upgrade my dudes as well and okay oh and while I was distracted Somebody took the holocron. Oh, that's that's really frustrating. Okay, well, at least we have two, right? Yeah, that's something else. Uh, he's going for that one. So, all right, well, two it is then. Let's get you guys back here. 
And maybe you could actually attack. Alright, I need some strike mechs. Because otherwise, we're in trouble. Maybe these guys can do a little bit of good up there. Yeah, maybe I should have gone on the offense first, because now our economy is kind of decimated here. But and these light frigates don't do a lot of damage. But we can still come back from this. Um, you know what I should do, actually? You guys should build another command center. Because then we can really start getting something going. Okay, the red is attacking green, too, which hopefully will pull green back from... Yeah, his expansion over here. And if we can get some mechs going. Yeah, here we go. Now we can start really doing some some magic here. Oh, and you guys are doing nothing. All right. Not enough ore. Ah, uh, okay, get get on ore. my units, these mechs are saving me, which was kind of my hope. Alright, so that's better. So what I want to do, even though we don't have a lot of um, a lot of war, I want to use some of it to build a wall here. And, alright, everybody back to work. The good news is we have a lot of food, and we have a lot of command centers, and hey, we have a lot of population limit now, so that's good. Uh, I don't really need Nova. I probably need ore, if anything. Um, and then what I'd like to do is press my offensive here. So let's bring you guys down here. And I can't quite build a gate yet, actually. All right, now I should be able to. And um, trouble is he can do air stuff, so I probably need some anti-air troopers or something. Okay, let's go ahead and go right for the jugular here. I'm going to build a heavy weapons factory. And. Don't have enough for a fortress yet. I'm ready, master. Let's bring you down here as well. Oop, they have mechs and advanced mounted troopers, so let's retreat a little bit now behind this wall here. Um, I need some mech destroyers. Is what I need. Which are expensive, but worth their weight in gold. Hey, the Gundark's helping. Oh, okay, here comes the air. That's what I was worried about. Well, that's going to have to be what it is for now. Um, actually, you know what I could do is build anti-air destroyer. That could be useful. And I don't have a fortress yet. Or quite enough to build one. Tech level 4, that's not good. Um, all right, I need to start making more workers. I need to get some farms going, really, is what I need. So let's have, we have plenty of carbon for now. Okay, I'm going to let these guys just kind of do their thing. Oh, he went away. He must have been attacked by somebody else. Um, I'm actually going to have you guys come over here in defensive mode and just do some damage. Oh, no, here he is. Alright, so I need you to go and arrange my anti-air destroyer, which can destroy that guy. And, oh, you're in trouble. Alright, I need to build a fortress for two. Let's start by building one here. 
And then between the heavy weapons factory and... Oh, where did these guys come from? Okay, let's get you guys up here. Alright, you guys are getting picked off way too easily by him. Let's make some more anti-air stuff. And how did you get stuck in there? Oh, he can go a little bit over land. That's interesting. Anti-air movie. That's what this thing was made for. I forgot about that. All right, let's get you guys out, and make more workers. You guys can back on this, put some of you into there. And I also want to build another command center to start pressing our advantage. Uh, we'll put it over here. And now we have a battle on our hands. But without a really good economy, we can't um, we can't get enough units to really win this battle. So, you know, we're actually okay on Nova. Part of the detriment of being attacked too is just oh, now we're out of carbon. Oh, that that sucks. All right, let's have some of you guys build me a shield generator because that's what's going to really let me do some do some good stuff here. Need more carbon as well. Okay, we have driven them off for now. Um, I think I might actually take out yellow first because yellow is. How did green come over here? And you guys got drawn out of bounds. All right, start taking them out. I think destroy droids come as mechs, or are they troopers? I can't remember this. Okay, let's get some more of you guys, and. Starting to get an economy going here. Once we have about 100 workers, then we can start doing some good stuff. I'm not going to worry too much about troopers because. Um, uh, I lost one of our mech destroyers. That's not good. Um, we can build a second fortress, though, but I kind of want to build it up here and really press my advantage against Yellow while he's kind of pinched in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I wish there were more resources around here. He's getting killed. Oh, just my one little guy there is doing a ton of stuff. This is awesome. All right, let's build a fortress and press our advantage. Is there anywhere we could press it, like, inland? He is building up his base. And he has the lowest points besides me. So hopefully red and green would fight each other and not come around here. I'm a little worried about that. Though. Maybe it's smart for me to leave yellow in there. All right, let's do that for now. Um, also, what I'd like to do is send some of you guys in a transport to those islands. Because that could be really useful. And I just realized I'm not tech level four yet. So I definitely need more farmers and more food. Um, there's Nova over here, which is nice, but I really don't need Nova right now. I'm gonna have you guys go hunt him. And yeah, we just need food. Let's have, uh, I know you're all idle. Come over here then. I need an idle, or not idle, but okay. Let's grab you two and build me a shipyard over here. And what this will do is it'll open up this whole new like fishing lane, which actually isn't that many fish. Um, and Parkers are taking it, but. All right, tech level four, let's get going to that. And I'm gonna need better farms here. And I'm gonna need, um, okay, I need, I need a fortress a little further out here to kind of defend my 
flank. Or I need a bigger army. Okay, you guys are doing pretty good. So let's do more farmers down here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this shit here is very valuable. Um, what else do I want to do? So this shipyard is built. Let's just go ahead and make another transport. What is this? Monitor. Excels at attacking land unit weak versus ships. That's cool. That could be really useful, actually. I must be, is that a Gungan exclusive? It might be. Alright, killed their Sith. That's good news. Alright, so we have, I think, recovered from that initial attack. It's still dragging us down a little bit, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was a few minutes ago. And, oh. Okay, I'm not too worried about Gundarks. I am a little worried about this guy, so let's bring down... Oh, and those guys. Okay, I need some bounty hunters. Let's make a couple of them. That turret's not the end of the world, but uh, I'm more worried that... How do they get through my wall? And I never did make... Um, I never did make my little patrol guys a... key bind. Alright, so let's do better farms and keep a few farms. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so what kind of stuff do I want to do? I think I want to do ships and mechs as my fighting force here. Um, bounty hunters are very good against Jedi and Sith, so this should go pretty well. Alright, so my goal is going to be to build a command center on those two islands so I can start really harvesting their resources, because there's a lot on these two islands. And then with those resources, I'm going to build up the Grand Army of the Gungans. I also want to build, like, let's go to military only units. Military units only, I should say. Okay, so I seem to have lost... Some of my light frigates. I really want them in here just to stop all these guys from mining. Oh, and the transport is being attacked, which is probably better than the workers. Where are the workers? Do the workers die? I don't actually see the workers anymore. Maybe they died. Oh, they're right there. They killed them. Okay, good job. Um, this is not really the ideal place for the command center at all, but I want to not be killed by Gundarks before I can make more stuff. So, okay, I need to transport. I'm going to get distracted. That guy's doing great. Actually, I have a transport right here. So I know my guys are kind of all over the place right now, but... Let's bring you all into here, and then I'm going to have you just build a bunch more farms for me. Alright, at the risk of jinxing, I'm feeling fairly confident right now. Oh, we are once again at the prefab limit. Okay. And I know there are things asking for my attention, but they will simply have to wait. All right, so I think we're pretty good on this side over here. Um, it's interesting here that the, I should probably take out the green guy before he takes all this stuff out. So let's do Okay, let's get you guys going over here first. And 
you guys are not doing anything, unfortunately. So let's put you on farms. And then what I want to do is start um, making more mech factories. And more shipyards. And let's take out this guy too. So I want you to take out him. And I need some anti-air stuff in a second. Let's bring two of you guys down here. Take him out. All right, now that we have plenty of workers and plenty of resources, it's time to really get the show on the road. So what I would like to do is build up, where's our base gonna be? Maybe down here would be good. Somewhere near this island. So what I need is just a bunch of workers. Oh, there's so many upgrades I don't have yet. All right, quick minute to do some upgrades. And um, okay, and this is good to have. And there's military units are created faster. All right, so now I want a bunch of you guys to come down here, not to become farmers, but to start making a ultimate war base down here. Oh, we got some anti-air folks coming in. Let's start making a fortress. And, oh, this is a good combo there, because they have this one guy to defend them. Um, let's get a few of these anti-ship dudes. And it looks like they have monitors as well. Okay. Okay, let's have you guys actually retreat. Seems like you might have came a little bit too... A little bit too late. If we can lure you back into range of these anti-air dudes, that'd be great. Yeah, so what I want to do is build a fortress, build a bunch of um, mech factories, and maybe I should just do it like right here. And a bunch of shipyards. Alright, let's do that. So we have one, two, three, and I'm going to need a power core as well. Make sure it gets everybody. And then I want you guys to build me some shipyards. And then we should really be talking here because now we can start upgrading things. We have these guys defending me up here from green, oddly. Um, I'll make these guys control four. And I want you to take out these things because they're concerning me. Actually bring you down here and I'll have one of you guys work on this fortress all right so we do need more people on carbon and I think part of the issue is that we don't have a carbon production center close to this anymore all right sweet now our Army is ready, or almost. Um, I do want to do a little bit more research here. Actually, there's a lot of more research I want to do. So let's also build like two more war centers. And I hear a bad noise. We'll check that out in a second. But first, we'll do a war center. Let's just put them like here and here. All right, so there's just like a staff there. But we have shields, and they don't, so I'm not too worried about that. Looks like there's a nice air battle going on. There's a huge battle going on over here. All right, so now the tide's really turned in my favor where everybody's kind of ignoring me, which is great. Because what that means is I can just research like everything I want to research. 
And let's do some more research up here too. And research these big guys. And I don't even know what these do. We're gonna research anyway. I'll create a transport mech. I don't want transport mechs. Bounty hunters. Okay, that's a little more concerning. Oh, my scout's still alive. I didn't realize that. All right, we're gonna need you guys to take them out fast, please. Let's actually make some mounted troopers. Was that my power core? What was that? Mm. No, it was my power core. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna need to build a wall because otherwise I could be in a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and build a wall here to stop anybody from coming through. I'll put a gate in there when I need to. But is there another fort up here? Or are they just walking through? They're just walking through. All right, um, research that, research that, and research anything that might help out here. I do have enough stuff to build another fortress, so let's do that. Even though it's not gonna be shielded. Well, if I build another fortress, yeah, I think the wall's actually good enough. Um, What are those guys? The workers from him? Not sure why he's coming over there. A lot of air battles going on, it looks like. But I'm not too worried because I can have anti-air ships, and if I need to, I can make anti-air mobiles as well. Um, Alright, so I'm feeling a lot better now. I don't really need to upgrade these walls because I don't think there's any purpose in it. Um, This island's doing pretty well, as is this island. Let's go ahead and build Nova Production Center here. Perhaps we don't have more Nova, actually. And, oh, we have fighters over here. Okay, so what I can do, we have a counter to that. And I want you to do some more research over here. And let's have you guys kind of gather up a force. And I will also need probably some um, anti-ship things. Yeah, there's a lot of green guys around. So right now green is way out in the point total. So I'm going to bring him down a notch. Maybe even steal his holocron. All right, so yeah, here's the issue, is that we have these anti-air guys, but they need to be defended by these guys. All right, so we'll start building up a fleet. I think I'm actually even need more shipyards. And I'll make like a few of these for now. We actually don't have as much carbon as we could. So let's fix that by building carbon production center down here. And you're over here. And I'm gonna have just one of you. Actually, I'm gonna have one of you guys build me like a ton of underwater prefab shelters. Just kind of haphazard around here. And that should get us some good population growth. All right. This should be a pretty good fleet here anywhere that there's water around. Now we do have some Jedi. Didn't think of that. Um, but even so, maybe I should do some Oh well. Maybe I need a Famba to help these guys out. Okay, let's provide some cannon fodder here. Alright, so we are winning this trade. But not by a lot. So let's get some more bounty hunters. In defensive posture, and then... Why don't we go ahead... Okay, I'm gonna put you on... Um, or while there is or. I also want a few of you guys to build me... 
some more shipyards. So we can really just go to town with ships. Because that's what the Gungans are best at. All right, so now we have a bit of a battle on our hands with yellow, which was not my goal. And somehow green is just like marching through here, attacking me, even though they have a better way to attack me. And yellow is in between me and them. So that's kind of bad that they're just like marching through, but I guess they're not really in yellow's base. So I'm a little worried over here. Um, I'm gonna have you keep making some defensive units. And oh, interesting. We seem to have actually like lost the naval battle here. But that's okay because we can make more of these in like two seconds. And, ooh, our, okay, we are now, we have provoked green before I really meant to. And we are out of carbon, which is really, really bad, actually, because now it's a full-scale war, and we do not have enough people getting carbon. Is there any carbon on this island? Not really. All the carbon's up here. So, right, forget the food for now. We need more carbon if we're going to win this. Let's go ahead and save, because I may have bid enough more than I can chew. I definitely bid it off before I was ready. Um, we'll do some upgrades as well. I don't even know what that is, but... Okay, thankfully, I think our shield is helping us to hold off. And, okay. Oh, I don't like this Famba being exposed. I think I need another shield generator. We have plenty of ore. Let's take some of you guys. I know these farms are horribly placed. Um, I'm gonna build a new power core up here so I can destroy this one. And I need you guys to take out this thing for me, please. All right, so we did some good damage there. We're starting to get some more carbon. I also want to get some more of these guys. And if we can start gathering up, oh, running low on farms, which is bad because I'm also out of carbon. Do I have more upgrades? I do. Mech factory units and. I think I, oh, I tried to build two mech factories and failed, right? Or two war centers, I should say. All right, let's do this then. Let's build one more war center. Let's do two, well, we don't have enough carbon. We'll do one more. Um, Gungans deal extra damage to mechs, that could be good. All right, so we are starting to get some traction here. Slowly but surely. Um, oh, there's an airbase right there. That's lovely. Okay, let's have these Famvas take out the airbase. And I want some more carbon workers. Because that's going to save me here. Um... While we're at it, let's have like some of you guys. We don't need that many farmers. Well, we probably do. Let's have a few of you guys build me another command center over here so we can get this Nova and these trees. Oh, this is not good at all. But that is a lot of resources, so. Just keep doing upgrades. There's a war center. Ships gain speed, probably not the best upgrade, but I'll take it. All right, let's get you guys doing some damage here, because otherwise we could be in trouble. And then I do want to destroy this thing, so I can build my own shield generator just to kind of defend my troops. Oh, it doesn't fit. That's very frustrating.
All right, we'll do it there then. And sorry we didn't kind of see this battle down here, but... Seems to be going pretty well. Let's keep pushing that advantage. Okay, so I would like some of you guys. Some of these things. And more of you. More of you. Just more ships in general. Oh, and we do need... I like the stealth these guys have. Yeah, my units are getting very split up. So, divided we full and all that. Let's get them up here in the shield and... All right, now we're doing some better damage here. Um, oops, we are being attacked by yellow, which is not good. Um, all right, I guess I need more anti-air ships. Oh, I feel like I'm wasting all my resources here. All right. Yeah, you guys are getting obliterated, so... Yeah, fighters in this game are really good. I think I need to make an, a... Um, An advanced anti-air turret. Because that's really the only hard counter. So I need to do a research center, which is you. The good news is we are getting lots of upgrades to all of our stuff in the meantime. So then when we do actually attack... Oh, I should have got that one a long time ago. Crap. That would make one half for sure. All right. We have to destroy green before they destroy us. And it seems like they have, oh, they have another one of these guys. So I'm also gonna wanna build an anti-air turret over here, even though it's not shielded. I wanna make sure we don't keep losing our guys to that. And because we're already fighting, I think it makes more sense just to make some more defensive guys here. We have the interior turret, but we need more range for it, I think. Let's bring you guys up here, too. All right, I do think a fortress up here would be useful. I mean, they're getting a little bit low on ore. Ah, I can't fit one. All right, never mind then. These guys put them on defense. Ah. All right, so. You know what I can do? This is an old trick. Storing guys inside. Oh, wait, the books from our shipyards. That's not good. Until we're ready to use them. Um. Okay. More shelters. Okay, let's have you build some more shelters then. Oh, you didn't actually finish building the other ones. All right, that should be enough for sure. Still working on that wall, aren't they? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a quick intermission and then we're gonna keep building up our forces. Both, I was gonna say land, air, and sea, but really just land and sea. Um. And when I come back from this intermission, we are going to 
make a big assault on green and hopefully take him out for good. All right, so I will be right back. All right, I am back and ready to get this show on the road. Let's go on the offense now. We're still putting more pre-dove shelters, but... Um, all right, so what am I going to do here? Let's do you guys as control one, control two, control three, control four. Don't have that many of these guys, actually. And sorry, I'm freezing a little bit here. And make you guys control five. Control six for the little strike mechs. Control seven for the mech destroyers. I probably should have more of them. Control eight for the big guys. All right. Need some anti-air dudes to come help out. And then the big artillery's in the back. Getting attacked up here, but honestly, these this is being attacked by the green guy. So if we can get, um, are you not building anymore? You stop building things. There we go. Okay, and that's okay. That's being attacked. Let me just build some regular prefabs as well. And just a couple more farms. So we don't run out of food. All right, now we're fighting here. I'm gonna say right to defensive mode because I don't want anybody to get ahead of the pack here. And where are my anti-air folks? Oh, there. See there. That's what happens here. You get of the game and they're fighting people who are not their main targets so I need to be controlling them a little bit better here all right this is more like it I think I actually like these guys better than these guys oh they have a transport going somewhere um, because they can attack at range all right, let's also attack by land now. And I'm a little worried about how many anti-air stuff we have, so let's make a few of them. And I want to keep pressing our advantage down to here now. So... Let's bring... Let's just... Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's have you guys take out this thing. And we do have some land troops, so these guys don't actually do much to buildings. Let's get them out of here for now. Um, what we're going to need, these guys can do a little bit, but what I'm really going to need, I think, is... Well, they said land units. I'm not sure if that includes... I'm not sure what that really includes. These guys for sure. And we're losing our navy here, so... Let's get the army in. Because they can do a lot more damage, too. And looks like Yellow is joining in the fun. Appreciate that, Mr. Yellow. Let's have our troops not fight his, because... That would be counterproductive. So if I can get all my troops down there. And we have more of these guys too, which is great. I'm gonna send them around kind of this way. Okay, let's have you guys blow this thing up. Should be pretty quick. And you guys get up to here. Okay, now we're actually starting to do some real damage. And what's our breakdown out of curiosity? We have 44 idle workers, um, which is not great, but 
not going to worry about that yet because we're having some fun. And I want to keep taking these guys out. Okay, let's get you guys to move forward. And no, 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 don't attack the one little worker trawler. I need you guys to defend my troops while I take out these walls. Okay, we are making some nice progress here. And we're defending. Let's have you guys take out this other shipyard. And we're doing some damage to this one, not as much as I would hope. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's get these land troops through. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? And I want you guys over here to defend them, because I really don't have any anti-air mobiles. I've made a few, I think, at some point, but... All right, now we can just plow through their whole economy and really do some damage. Let's take out this thing from afar. I'm gonna go to military unit mode. He's being attacked by yellow. Actually, we're all being attacked by yellow, which is not great. But yellow is also kind of fighting on this front, so I'm hoping that these two will be focusing on each other. Now, I do have another shipyard down here and a lot of workers that I should probably take out, but um, we'll get to that. All right, the second team over here did pretty good. Are we not doing so well over here? Not really. I wonder if we have so many idle workers. Um, we have an anti-air turret, but... Oh, and green has a presence on my island now. Didn't realize that. All right, let's have you two take out this thing. And I'll have one of you come here, take out the workers. I'm trying to build another command center to recover. All right, once again, we are not playing to our strengths because I was not really focusing on these guys. Um, we do have some vacancies in our population count, so. And let's bring you guys down to join in the fun because that could be helpful. All right, now we're doing good. I would like you guys to take out this thing here. And we're being kind of killed by the turrets. Not the end of the world, but still. All right, but these heavy destroyer droids do go down fast to the mech destroyers. That's nice. Um, I wish I had an air base right now. Let's. I want to take like actually you guys should come down here as well but you guys i want to come down here and just start taking out some strikes some of these uh i guess there's a turret there isn't there all right so we need to get rid of that turret um do i have anybody left from the original group i do which is a shame because they're doing a lot of damage here but i need to get rid of this turret so i can take out his workforce and then you two are um, doing something over here, but I need you to do more. Can't have him rebuilding his base on my island over here. Okay, you guys take out this power core, and you guys can take out the take out, yeah, take out the troop center. And. Uh, they're going the long way, which is not ideal. I was hoping to go around this way, but I guess there's a gate there. All right, this command center has to go down. Let's retreat a little bit until I can get these guys over here. And I'll bring some of you guys in closer too. Help against the land units. And we have some more Fambas coming over, which is great. Let's actually go ahead and make like a uh, 
one of these guys too. They're a little expensive, but... And do I have a second fortress? I think I do down here, right? No, it got destroyed, okay. So we can't really upgrade the Fambas yet. All right, we have them cornered, which is awesome. Let's bring you two down here. And have you take out this turret. Ah. Okay, I want you guys to just kind of stand around here without getting in range of that turret and do some damage. And you guys, you can take out... Um, I thought I saw a turret over here. I guess not. They're not really doing heavy weapons, though. They are doing some mechs. We'll take this out. And do they have another shipyard somewhere? Oh, you guys are doing, like, nothing. At least get them to do some carbon. A oh, little ship over there. All right, I think what I need is just, like, more strike mechs to come through and take all these guys out, so... Let's bring you guys down to here, and then just do a bunch of strike mechs. Support and fire on the way. Um, what I'm also going to do, even though I really don't have the population for it, is build an airbase. Not because Gungans really have great air power. Um, I'll just do it wherever. But because by building some um, fighters, it's an easy way for us to swoop in and kill all these workers that are otherwise going to be a real pain to get through. I love these family units. These are great. And you guys are also great, so come down here and be great, please. So they do have a lot of inland stuff now that's my ship units are not going to really be able to help with. So I think what I'm going to need is like you guys to do most of the heavy lifting. Um, I'm also going to do... Let's bring you guys down here too. Could be a mistake, but I can always make more. Um, these two I'm going to bring down here as well just because they could potentially be useful. And, okay, let's get my land units in here. Don't know if they're in range of the troop center, but we're going to try it. And, okay, you guys can go back to carbon, I guess, for now. Population limit is reached, but that's okay. I'm sure we will resolve that soon enough. All right, so we have Driven Green Inland. Yeah, he is now way down on the point total, and we are way up, which is awesome. That was the plan. And you know what I never did? I never did the moving target thing. That would have been a huge boon to my horses. Um, also, I'm going to just kind of destroy some of these workers, because, oh, there's actually food here. Let's get the food first. Because a lot of these guys are just... Um, idling around and not really doing much with the population count. Alright, so we have a fortress here. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Let's get you guys up here. And I want you guys to converge on this fortress. I'll have you guys come support them. But the fortress is really the last thing standing in our way here taking out his workers. Um, I also would like to take out that Sith Temple, because I bet you he has at least one of our Holocrons, which might be the best way to win this, honestly. And oh, we do have some fighters, which I was worried about. So that's the reason I sent in these two guys. Let's keep you over here. And move you up to here. Um, where is their airbase? There it is. So let's see if I have some of you guys in range of the airbase. I think I do. Get 
these guys in offensive mode. All right. This is going pretty well. And I'm going to make you guys control nine. We'll um, put you guys... I actually have tons of Nova right now. Let's go ahead and queue up some more of these Famba units. Okay, we do want to get rid of this guy, and then I also want to get rid of that guy. Yep, all right, sweet. Now things are coming together. Love when a plan comes together. All right, so last but not least, I need these guys to come through here. I do see this anti-air battery, which I might need to get rid of. So let's send some of you guys down here to get rid of that. And we got some nerfs. That's awesome. Where are these nerfs? There they are. Apparently they've been recaptured, but now they've been re-recaptured. See if I can get them back up here for some more food. All right, there's anti-air batteries, which yes, okay. So, didn't destroy them in time. And we'll take you out as well. Cool to see those things in action though, I do like that. But yeah, green should be going down pretty soon. Uh, and he has two holocrons, which is really nice. So I do have at least one Jedi left. There he is. Yes, master. He's been on key bound, but that's okay. So let's send you in here and these guys in attack mode now. Um, I'm going to make one more Padawan as well, so you can come get the other Holocron. Although again, we really have lots of Nova, that's not the issue for us at this point. I do see one little worker over here. Um, I think I need you guys to take out this gate. And this fan can help as well. Everybody on this gate, because then we can go through and kill that worker. And now that the anti-air batteries are dead, you guys can also come in and help out with this goal. And anti-air stuff. Seeing what here might be useful. A lot of stuff might be useful, but getting what we can. All right, let's get you. We'll take out the shipyard. Also, I like the new uh, resistance shipyard. That's cool. Uh, they do have a command center down here. Sneaky buggers. But we have fambas, so I think we're going to win this one. What I want to do is wipe him out before he rebuilds, because he could easily rebuild and become a threat again. Um, all right, I should probably rebuild our economy as well. Especially the food. Let's do some new farms and some old farms. I know these are not the ideal locations, but at least it's something. Yeah, we have one holocron. Okay, so who is left for the green dude? There's our strike force. He can't have much left. He has this like one guy down here. Two guys. All right, so I think what we need to do here is get you guys to this last command center. And if we can destroy that and any workers it produces, we should be in pretty good shape. Ooh, 
Looks like yellow and red are kind of in a uh, stalemate here. Uh, actually, no, it looks like yellow's winning by quite a bit. So let's gang up on yellow and take him out first then. Um, although I might do another intermission and come back and do that another night. Because we're starting to get into the late game here. I am having fun though. All right, are there any more workers around? There's a turret, but a turret's not gonna keep them alive. Basically, the AI will only surrender if you uh, take out all of his workers and command centers. So I think it's really this command center keeping him alive and the worker inside of it, but not for long. These assault mechs are very good against buildings. And there's the last workers, bring in our strike force. And yay, DRN592 has been retired. All right, do resuscitate not. Um, do some upgrades here. Also, apparently I need an anti-air guy or something, so. Now this fighter is much better than any of my fighters. So I might have to lure him down south a bit. But all right, with green defeated, let's go ahead and regroup. And I want to attack yellow now. Um, but I want to probably attack him from this side. So what I want to do is take all of my land units. Let's go back to war mode here. And Let's bring them, let's just kind of gather everybody up here. I'll right, bring you guys home and take out this fighter. Go over to the Great Plains. And we can also make some more ships and things too. We'll gather our Navy up here. And come one, come all. It is once again time to get on the warpath. All right, let's get some ships here. And we have all kinds of ships and things. Let's bring you up here. So what kind of stuff do we need to take him out? Um, probably more land forces than anything. So and also some anti-air units. Because he does have a lot of air, I've noticed. So let's do some more ship anti-air and then also let's do um, let's get this Nova back if we can. Yeah, actually I have no shortage of Nova. It's gonna be the farms that trip me up, if anything. Uh, I tell you what I was saying. Okay, you guys, I need to come up here as well. We can do spawn point. All right, so our army here is doing pretty good. Bring in the Navy to start taking out these guys before my command center dies. That would be unideal. And I should probably research this as well. That's line of sight. I don't know if that means, that doesn't mean range though, right? Maybe I don't need that. All right, let's Get some more farmers going too. And. Oh, we need some bounty hunters, it looks like. Alright, now we have ourselves a battle. Everybody hurry. Who is over here? Oh, you guys. You know what? Uh, this is not ideal. I wonder if some, some of you split up and kind of just go through here. All right, let's just get to it. 
And I'm very worried about those airships. So let's see if we can get them in range of these guys. Everybody come up here. There's a one standard chance. And there's all kinds of stuff that's left down here straggling, but we'll get it up there sooner or later. One of these guys are being turned, which is not good. Let's see if they can take out a fortress first. Yeah, okay, let's get to the, closer to the water edge, because then you guys can actually do some damage to them. There we go. That's more like it. Let's get that shield in here, too. All right, now you guys are getting a little ahead of yourselves. Let's bring in these guys to take out the troopers. And now we have ourselves a battle. They're probably scrambling now to, yeah, to remobilize, to face this front. Um, all right, let's see if any of these guys can just make it back. Or maybe they can take out the fortress. Let's help them out a bit. Um, let's have you guys take out this center over here, and everybody else just keep moving forward. Get you guys along the coastline here. Their workers really don't do anything at this point anyway, but... Um, I need you guys to come down here. Get some strikes, too. I do miss the Imperial Walkers that could attack the air fighters as well. That was really useful. Tell who I think they're attacking the Thambos, which is smart. So I'm gonna try to bring them to the water's edge here until we can get our heavy weapons over there, which is probably gonna be a while. Yeah, they're going very slowly, as they tend to do. They're called heavy weapons for a reason, after all. Um, can upgrade them, I guess. Let's get the Thamba down here where it's useful, and our army is really getting split up. So what I'd like to do is kind of regroup by the water's edge. Let's bring down this fortress first. Good. And now we can actually start defending our guys versus the air and the sea. And this is awesome. That's what I need. That's what I need. Let's bring them in here and keep them safe, though. And there comes my like lone anti-air mobile to the rescue. Um... Can have some of the guys attack this thing. Do they have any other shipyards? They have this one down here. Alright, and together, as an unlikely alliance, me and the Red Dude can probably do some serious damage. Uh, we'll bring these guys over here as well. And then some stragglers. Maybe they can just come in here. So, this guy's a little less exposed at the waterfront. Uh, unfortunately. Um, I need some more of the, like, heavy guys. Oh, you guys are stuck in there, aren't you? But I think what I really need is just more of everything. We'll upgrade those guys and get you all up here. Yeah, I'm very worried about the fighters. Because um, as soon as we get away from the water's edge, we're in danger of them. So I think as much as I didn't really want to do this, I'm going to have to do some... Um, some upgrading here. For our heavy weapon friends. Being attacked by the red guy over there. All 
enemy my enemy and all that. So we are making some progress. Um, I'm just wary of getting too far away from the water's edge. While the iron is hot, let's strike. Let's move you guys forward as well. And what I'll just need to do is... I'll make you uh, control one now. Be very careful with this guy. I could also just send my fighters after him. I just don't have very good fighters. Because they don't get shields or anything like that. So... Um, let's send you guys over here. He does have Jedi. I'd also like to bring... Do I have any guys left on carbon? I do. I'd like you guys to come over here and build like an anti... Oh. And build an anti-air turret. Oh, so we're actually doing pretty good here. Let's take out this gate, and then our guys can just kind of come inside and destroy the workers. Hopefully before their air can destroy us. And if I can take out their air base, which is probably way down here, unfortunately, that would be great. Okay, there's an air base there. Uh, and there is a hole. I can make a bigger one, though. Sweet. Let's get you guys in here as fast as I can, because that's my main concern right now, is the enemy air. Oh, and you are getting... No, don't attack my anti-air thing. He's the only thing stopping you guys from uh, losing to yellow. These guys will come in, have our air help out against theirs, and we captured some hurtables, which is nice. Let's take out this turret, because it can do some damage. A little bit of friendly fire, just for fun. But Alright, I think the end is kind of in sight now. Um, heavy Weapons Factory is down here. And what unit is red? Red is the resistance. They probably also will have some fighters then. All right, back to our main target, the airbase. And you guys come in to support them. And we have plenty more where that came from. And you know, we have, I believe, four holocrons, right? So honestly, I might just try to win this by getting another holocron if we can get to that temple. That might be faster than destroying uh, every single worker they have. And then I could actually get to bed. So let's just have you guys, not you guys, well, maybe you guys. But yeah, I want you to clear the way. Don't worry about the walls. Yeah, we are not going to win that trip. Well, I guess we did better than I thought. Let's take out this command center. It is shielded, but we have like a bazillion uh, assault mechs, so that still won't help it that much. At least once they get all lined up. And we do have our one or two dutiful anti-air mobiles there doing what they can. Uh, let's destroy this shield generator as well. That should open them up to a much easier sweep. And then once that's done, we're going to go right for the heart of their civilization, the Jedi Temple. Just like Palpatine did. And we're going to move you up a little bit. It's not you. You. And let's have one fan, but kind of stay at this side. Or one shove generator, I should say, and one move up here. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all the fighting. I know there's a lot of very noisy effects right now. Also, there's an airbase over there. Let's get rid of that. He might start attacking me if I do this, but no, I guess not. Um, there we go. We'll increase the worker attack right there. Not sure what those guys are doing, but it doesn't really matter too much. And there's the holocron. All right. So now all I need to do is send in one of you guys. We'll make you control one again. I'm not sure if you were the original one or not. And in the meantime, our goal will be to clear the way for that guy so that he doesn't die. And we'll give him some upgrades as well. But 
but yeah, we have quite literally a path to victory now. All we have to do is get this holocron and bring it back and then wait a little bit. But I think what I might do in the meantime is just keep keep going. Keep attacking. There's clearly another airbase. There it is. But honestly, I'm not too worried, because unless they make like a billion fighters, they're not gonna take out my assault mechs faster than I can uh, take out their buildings. And we can always make more as well. Uh, what happened to my nursery? There it is. Put some more assault mechs in here. And look, more nerfs. Yay! Not sure they'll make it back, but we can certainly try. And you guys are making progress. Um, oh, that's the one I meant to research. That would have been better. Oh, I thought they had another shield generator for a second. They do not. That is my shield generator. Alright, taking out their mech factory means no more mechs, unless they build a new one, which they probably will eventually, but... Okay, how is my Jedi guy doing? He is doing great. He already has the Holocron, and now he's on his way back. Let's do one more save. This has been a fun game. I'm kind of curious to go back now and watch the recording and see um, how the other units did against each other, too. The other factions. Yeah, so we do have some Jedi Starfighters coming out of that fortress. Uh, which is... somewhere? They do have another, another um, temple. And there's a resistance cannon. So they're coming from the north. There it is. All right, let's take that guy out, and then, um, yeah, I'll just need you to kind of do this one at a time. Somewhere I should have more. There they are. That's what I need. More air resistance as well. And we're going to have you be, like, this guy's guard. All right, and just for fun, let's bring in the ships. Again, the red guy is not as uh, in the water, but by sending these guys sort of in the middle, we can at least uh, make things a little easier for our land forces. They do have a few guys up here, it looks like. All right, the fortress is now under attack, which is very good news. The bad news is we are also under attack. This time from the resistance. All right. Once allies, now enemies. How the turntables turn. We have the holocrons as planned. Everybody get closer to the anti air turrets. We're going to need their cover. And you guys can also be very useful down here. So, yellow has not given up yet. But I think he's between a rock and a hard place, for sure. Um, queue up some fighters to go take out those guys. I do you like being able to see the whole map? That's very nice. Yeah, he's trying to rebuild down there, but I mean, the red guy is all over him as well, so. This does not bode well for Mr. Yellow. Um, let's send... You guys down here to help this command center. And we'll see if I can defeat the last two guys before the timer ends out. So there are some workers around here too. I think we may have to start splitting up our assault mechs a bit. I would like one of you. Eh, that doesn't really matter too much. Let's have you guys guard him. Oh, there's an anti-air turret there. Didn't see him. Okay. So what that means... Oh, a little red droid there. Let's have you come up here. And we are getting a little low on Nova, so I'll take care of that in a second. Now we do have... Actually, you know what I can do? 
Yeah, we're going with food. I'm going to build a second Nova Production Center over here. And once you guys come over here and start taking out this base over here. And that's mainly the Navy getting attacked, so I'm not too worried about it at this point. Got a Bounty Hunter over here. This is a very interesting game. Let's bring two more of your guys over here. Oh god, there's one over already on the way. So that should make quick work for those workers. We have the other assault mechs coming up here to take care of these guys. And we have that guy doing some preliminary groundwork. Um, there are these things. I think are there. Oh, they're strike mechs. They were the heavy mechs, but even better. All right, so yeah, at this point, yellow's days are numbered as are reds, but I think yellow's is probably a single digit number. Anybody back here that could be a threat? Not really. So let's kind of regroup because our next big battle will be with red. The final battle, just like Pokemon Gold. Um, all right, so over here, they have a bit of a base. Let's take him out. They can build another temple, but it's not really going to help them any. And then... I don't know if we even really needed a... Um, an assault mech, but we have them. Three of them, in fact. And with that command center gone, that should be the end of... Mr. Gold. Alright, let's actually gather up all of our forces here. I know our farms are expiring, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, they do have a Jedi. He seems a little confused. The last Jedi. From Jocasta New. Maybe that is Jocasta New. But she is about to go down, and that'll give us 300 days to take out the red guy before we would win anyway with the Holocrons. This was a tough game, but definitely a fun one. I've enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys have as well. And hopefully a little more than that Jedi has. Take out the power core first, actually. How are we doing over here? We're making progress. And there comes the worker, and a few workers, actually. Oh, good. Strike mech is in just the right position here. That's right, he can actually still make them, even though he's low on health. He just can't garrison them. Alright, that's probably their last two workers here. And, yay, Jocasta New has resigned. Alright. So we are going to gather all of our troops down here. And have one last giant battle with... Uh, the resistance and Finn. Okay, so we do have a few random stragglers. Of course, these guys. There's more Nova up there if needed, but I think we'll be okay. Um, bring some assault mechs down here. All right. Cool. Two little guys over here as well. Well, without any further ado, let us head into battle and take out our last enemy. If need, we can always fall back to the river and the defense of our navy, but I don't think we'll have to. There was a reason I chose Red for last, and it's because overall he's been struggling the most. Um, I think the only reason he has more points than Green is because he's actually still alive. Although, I don't know, he actually did destroy a lot of Yellow's forces. That's probably a, a big part of it, too. And, okay. Didn't really need that anti-air turret in the end, anyway. But doesn't hurt. So let's take out this fortress. Yeah, 
Yeah, they have a lot of fortresses, so. And a undeployed cannon. I'm not really sure where he's going. Probably to attack yellow. Which is fine with me. I do love these Pampa Shield Generators, too. It gives your army a lot more durability than it would otherwise have. Even though they're a little clumped together right now. Alright, there's that one. Oh, that's a power core. That's cool. I like the look of that. I know I grabbed a bunch of ships there, but they'll just stay in the river and the rest will come. We have a nice long line of military units now reinforcing us. And there they are. And oh, an assault mech. Let's bring him over as well. These guys, I probably could just delete, but I'll leave them there. Two more assault mechs. Some other random mechs. Gotta love the Gungan mechs. They are very, very strong. Uh, I could use some strike mechs, actually. And the Famba should be coming up as well. Also, don't forget about the anti air guys, because they could make some air units and give us a lot of trouble. All right, let's do some cleanup against these with these troopers, repeater troopers. Perfect. I'll go down to our strike mechs very easily. And then we can just march inside and uh, take out their entire workforce. Now, of course, at this point, they probably have a pretty good supply of resources anyway. They seem to have a pretty good supply of fortresses, too. Good. Pushing them back into their base. Let's keep bringing them in to the battle. And the good news keeps on coming. Um, okay, I really need some Fambas. I seem to have redirected by accident here. You can stay there. You guys, let's get over here. And your talents are wasted. So let's bring you down here to start doing some real damage. Starting with that shield generator. Okay, let's have you guys retreat until the Fambas arrive, since they are our main firepower against the buildings. And because we're splitting them up, since there's so many fortresses, they are a little less effective than they might otherwise be. Let's have some of you go over here and take out this fortress. And we'll have more shortly. Here they are. Got a nice battle here, but the shield generator is down, which is immensely helpful. And here come the fighters, as expected. That's okay. And another fortress is down. Do you see a bomber coming over this way? Let's take him out. And then my main goal is to take out the fortresses, because once they're gone, there really isn't anywhere for the workers to hide. We'll keep you moving in there as well. Take out the prefabs, which is not really that important. We're starting to get some damage against the uh, fortress over here now. I think the end is in sight. We have 199 days, so plenty of time. Don't really care about their shipyard, and not sure if the um, the harvesters count as workers or not. They might. So let's go ahead and take them out too, just in case. All right, the command center is down. 
take out this fortress. And we'll bring in some strike mechs to take out these workers. Yeah, this is the one downside about not doing a Terminator Commander game is that it the late clean, late game cleanup takes a while. Um, but I've done a lot of them recently, and also I figured with um, having it be a free for all. They would kind of help me destroy each other, which is sort of what happened. It's really only this one last guy left, and he's not that tough, that tough to defeat. Let's take out this guy too. All right, doing that command center destroyed. See one red dot there, but it's just that cannon. It's not a worker. All right, nicely done. A little bit of overkill here. So there's a command center down here that has to go. Um, all these destroyed droids, unfortunately. Unfortunately for us. I feel like some guys are getting through here. I guess they won't with this team. Let's keep somebody at the four just in case. I don't want to be chasing around like one random guy. All right, so who is left here? We have like an area down here that needs some destroying. Uh, there's a fortress there that they could retreat into if needed. And somewhere is a troop center. It's a war center. Well, these Fambas do not have the strength of numbers. Strength in numbers here. And that's a research center. Pretty cool looking. And there's that troop center that's giving us a lot of trouble. But not for long. Hey, more nerfs, yay. All right, so that fortress is making more bounty hunters, but not workers. I think the only workers left are over here, near this command center. So if we can get through this gate and these buildings, we should have a clear path to take them out. And that was not hard at all. And you guys can just defend them against any troopers that are attacking and any stragglers like this worker over here. All right. So now we can take out this command center and this fortress, and that should be the game. And a few more troopers just for good measure. Oh, there's that fortress causing some trouble which is why it needs to die. And there looks like a worker over here. Let's make sure he doesn't get away. Yep, there is no escaping. All right, and there goes the last command center. There's probably like one worker around here somewhere. Other than that, that should be the game. In. Those guys are just transports, I think. So now Bounty Hunter after them. Yeah, I don't actually see. Up oh, there we go. All right. We have victories. That was a fun game. Um, a little bit drawn out at the end there, but we got the Holocrons. We destroyed all of our enemies. So all in all, I had a good time, and I hope you guys did as well. Uh, I'll do one more save, just why not, and then we'll take a quick look at the scoreboard, and then I am going to get to bed. All right, so definitely the best military. Uh, it took us a while to get going, but once we did, it was worth it, uh, and the best economy to support that. Everything else was kind of equal. Finn had a lot of fortresses, but it didn't save him. I'm just going to breeze through these really quickly. 
we did the best for Nova, um, in large part thanks to our holocrons, but looks like Finn actually did the best for basic resources. And there's the tech levels, uh, society, and of course the fun part, the timeline. So that's it for this episode, but uh, there will be plenty of more Star Wars Collective Battlegrounds to come. I'll try to release one of these. Um, I'd eventually like to get to the point where I'm releasing one every week. I'm not quite there yet. Right now it's like once a month or a little less, but uh, I do plan to ramp things up in the near future. So if you enjoy these videos, definitely subscribe and stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, I appreciate any likes or comments. So that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon.